the heck, man? But when we flew in here, it was already surreal enough, but this is a pretty, pretty special moment. <laughs> Great bowl, Joe. Hey, buddy, what do you think? I'm, I'm just blessed, man. Loving every second right now. Take this in, brother. It's amazing, dude. I don't know what to say. He's down, brother. Congratulations, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, this is my 100%, Joe. Yeah. We made it. Much anticipation. We made it. The old iPhone here. Little mama bear. And uh, we got a little baby bear in here somewhere. I think 10 years ago you'd be here? Never in a million years. But this is what we've been working for and dreaming about. It's pretty surreal. Time to get to work now. Yep. We've got uh, some goats spotted. Let's see if we can get them on the iPhone. Yep, so right in the dead center of the screen, right on that ridge line, but on the further one back. Those are all goats. So our first trip two weeks ago, we had to cancel and reschedule because of weather. Um, we were pretty nervous about today just because the ceiling has been really low, but it worked out. We're here. Plan is we're gonna get temporary camp set up on this river bar. It's kind of a risk because if we get a lot of rain, it could come up and get our tent wet, but we've got a separate two person storage tent. We're gonna leave all of our stuff in it and then we'll stack everything um, on top of that tote right there. Well, we had rain coming in, so we had to just throw everything in the tent real quick. The only thing that I forgot is my chair for base camp. Jay did not. So he's gonna be sitting under here all comfy and I'm gonna sit on his tote. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna share. We're gonna share, yeah. What's the weight limit on that thing? We're just about packed up. Set up the bear fence around our base camp and then uh, up we go. Dang, some blue sky up there, look at that. Let's do something cliche like goat hunt 2022. Pretty good at being dumb. If you ask me to do that, I can do it. So we haven't even left base camp yet, and we've got our first roadblock. This nearly impenetrable force of willows and alders. The the creek doesn't have enough bank to it to walk up, and then we'd end up pounding brush anyways. So we got to get over to that like knee-high brush over there 
So the rifle's gonna come off, we'll hand carry the rifle, and then we're just gonna pound our way through. Usually you fly into a lake so you don't have to pound brush. I guess this area had other plans for us. Well, we just went through a few hundred yards of that. And so now we're super sweaty. Burn a few hundred calories, drenched in sweat, and we haven't gained one foot of elevation yet. This is much worse than anticipated. We're gonna make it happen though. Got some stinging nettle in my hand. Feel that now. Literally trudging through a whole field of stinging nettle and I've been hit by it a couple of times. My hands are burning. Oh, thank you. This is better. It's getting better. We're gonna find, hopefully, a way up through that. Don't tell Jay this, but this place makes the the lake I hunted out of last year look like a walk in the park. This is gonna be an adventure. Maybe. Just a little bit of sweat. Just walls up there. But this little rock slide area is giving us a little bit of a break. Inhale the bug. Can't even get my footing to get up on all this shit. I know, same dude. Fuck. I know, I fell like five times just right here. I know, everything's got thorns. Everything's trying to bite us. Blown through our water. Pounding head high brush for over for miles now devil's club here now my forehead's burning from bug spray put a hole in my rain pants where are you right here eight feet away and i can't even freaking see you yeah going up this is way worse i don't know if we can get through this i think we need i think we need to go down Huh? Down here. Where did you go? I'm shaking. Oh, you can see me? Okay. Sorry, Jay. I didn't sign up for this either. <laughs> a little bit further, right? Yeah. I'll try to go a little bit slower so we don't get separated. Yep. 60 pounds on shit like this, on a grade like this. This, this is terrible. The maps, this all looks like grass. It's not. 
I hear water coming out a good time because I am dying of thirst. I say we go down, we make camp, we clear our freaking heads, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta regather our bearings. Um, this was a fail, an absolute fail coming up this way. And sometimes you gotta accept defeat, come up with a new plan. And uh, this one's all on me. I've been in some crazy country, but this is by far the most challenging stuff I've ever been in. And I've got Jay with me. And the dude's dang trooper just hanging in there. You're just dumb. First real mountain hunt, and this is what I get us into. This is Jay's first real mountain hunt. From the map, from the, all the maps, it looks like this, this uh, vegetation would be this. Pretty much the entire way. And it's been, it's been quite the opposite. It's been uh, head high, salmonberry and alders. Can't see where you're going, crawling with a 60 pound pack. We wanted to make it somewhere in that area. Uh, tonight, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. It's taken us three times as long just to get here Deer bed right there Another one right there pretty well used beds So we just got camp set up here a lot lower than we wanted to be um, We're looking at about 13 goats right now um, obviously a bunch of nannies and kids. There could be a, a younger Billy mixed in the bunch though. And, um, the bugs are crazy. You can't probably can't really see them cause they're just hundreds and hundreds of no -see -ems. But, uh, we need to get our stuff inside and try to get dry. Cause we are soaked. There was a little buck. He's down there. Oh, there he is right there. A little buck right there. Just a small fork at horn. I think that's him. Yeah, that's him. And then uh, we had another tiny little buck, like a spike that popped out right there. And the goats, there they are. Right in the middle, just all bunched up right there. What? I said I'm gonna sleep really good tonight. Me too. Unless I catch some crabs, in which case, I've already caught a few hamstring cramps and they're not fun. I just, it just buckles me, it's terrible. A normal thinking human would have uh, turned around about a mile in and said, uh, we screwed up and it's time to go home. Sorry for that noise, Jay's blowing up his <laughs> bed over there. We're both like too exhausted to even have an appetite. We don't even wanna eat, but we have to. I don't even know if this is gonna make the video. I think this is more for me to look back on. Will you quit making so much damn noise? You brought two, two sleeping pads. Who does that? He's got his little foam thing and the blow up one. Anyway. Do you mind if I roll over and get on my back? <laughs> Why'd you bring him? Oh, oh, you? No. This guy's a damn trooper. We left at 2 today, and we got here, made camp by 8, so 6 hours of hacking brush for just under 2 miles, with only 400 foot of elevation gain. That's insane. That's some messed up numbers right there. That's not right. We've got tons of holes in our rain gear. We got tore up today. Good news is, my feet feel fine. My feet are dry. We're going to get a good night's rest, try to get something to eat. We're gonna find a way up this dang mountain. We're gonna make some food. See you in the morning. Thanks for sticking around. Got a nice big goat above us. Probably about 1,200 yards. Look at this country. It's the most beautiful place I've been tortured. 
there was just a minute ago a there he is nice lone goat bust out the spotter and see if it's a billy real quick and no we can't get up this it's straight up and down We are right on it now. We went deviated a little bit because of water. And then, uh, yeah, okay. This is it. This is the American dream. Where did you go? Right there. Can't see anything. You got that net on. <laughs> the American dream, huh? The American dream. This is the American dream. <laughs> yep. This is why we come to places like this. Come out here and stomp around like a couple of buttholes and test your sanity. Leave with some minor PTSD. Feed some mosquitoes. Literally the only thing we have going for us is our conditioning. We both woke up this morning without, you know, anything out of whack. If it wasn't for being physically prepared, we probably would have turned around and went home. It sounds like a broken record. I'll probably cut most of this out so I don't repeat myself too much, but there's nothing else to talk about except for the fact that we've been getting our ass whooped for a day and a half. We still haven't even made it to goat country yet. Jay lost a crampon, so he's gonna take a quick backtrack to look for it. Only about 10 yards back, and if it's not there, it's gone. Found it. A little win, little victories. I don't know who thought this would be a good idea. Is it ever too late to turn around? I think we've got about 50 more foot of elevation before this is supposed to turn into grass. If my calculations are correct, they haven't been this far, so I'm not gonna, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, what were you saying? So it's been a blast. Been a good time? I've never had so many near-death experiences in my life. Um, quite a bit of elevation gain. We're finally in, we've broken into the real Alpine. It's time to hydrate, change the socks, take the crampons off, and get out of this rain gear. <laughs> Try to dry out. Get up over this, find a flat spot, dump all of our stuff, and we're gonna spend a few days up here and make the best of it. Um, and just forget about everything that just happened. Just block it out. We're just drying our stuff out. Got an absolute yard sale going on here. All of the stuffs.
Sure is beautiful though, once you get up here. Looks like an old bear. I'm not good at judging these bears, but big old long snout. Ears look small. Decent hump. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Keep the pistol close. Surprised that thing's out feeding right now. It's freaking hot out here, man. I'm burning up. There it is. Like I said, there's a ton of mirage, so it's pretty blurry, no matter what I do. Just gotta see if I can see it pee, or if it shows me its backside, probably be able to get a pretty decent judge on it. By itself, too. It's got a pretty stocky body on it. I'm going to pop this phone scope off and look at it with my eye. Because that bear went up over that ridge below him. We think that goat is just sitting there just watching that bear. So, it doesn't really look like he cares much. Got two goats over here. So sunny out, I can't see the viewfinder. Oh, a lot of mirage, so it's hard to see them. And then we had three goats pop out on the top of this ridge up here, but definitely one confirmed nanny with a kid, so. Not too concerned about them. They may have cut our wind. I don't I don't really know. It's a pretty good ways above us. Last night they were all over this right here. Jay, let me see those hands. Yeah, mine are pretty beat too. We uh, did a did a uh, antiseptic wipe and put a bunch of. What am I trying to say? Triple, Triple antibiotic. <laughs> but we can look at this. <laughs> Plan for tomorrow. That hill over. Go up hit that ridge line and then look over both sides and kind of just make our way up that tomorrow. So the forecast said 10% chance of rain today. Hopefully we're getting our 10% of rain now. 100% of our 10% chance of rain. 545 this morning and socked in fog and pouring down rain. Tenacious tape, patch up my cramp on 
spike holes from yesterday. Day one up in goat country, day three overall. <laughs> Took us an extra day to get up here, but we're gonna head up this hill here and grab some water. today uh, there's nothing that's gonna catch you so how are you feeling Good. yeah accomplished yeah so far anyway the hunt ended right now I'd be happy would you no but yeah. no I mean like with what we've done accomplished yeah I wouldn't be you know you get your money's worth I'd be disappointed that we didn't get a goat, but I feel, you know, what I've been able to do, what we've been able to do. Surprise yourself a little bit. Surprise myself. I'm just going to work this ridge all the way up. slow going from one side to the other of this ridge and just seeing if there's something that we can either catch on the move like with that nanny on the way up otherwise we're gonna sit this saddle down here and see if that herd of goats feeds across that that opposing ridge again they did the first night and the second night they didn't do it last night that we know of and we can be you know 600 yards away and be able to to stock on something we'll see barely 40 yards of visibility it's been like this all day i hope the mic noise isn't too bad i'm trying to block the wind but i don't know what goats do in wind and fog. I don't really know anything about them, to be honest. I know that they like to be up high. I know they run these ridge tops, and I know they kind of poke down and come down in the evenings, and that's pretty much all I remember them doing last year. And they're easy to find when it's not foggy. They're super easy to find. They're white, and there's no trees up here, and big open mountains, but it's like this. There's nothing you can do about it. shot him in my mind and then uh because i don't want to pack him out <laughs> we'll just push him towards the tent and then shoot him yeah he might be winning us now interesting to see what he does or she oh take him build shit
our day. Today stunk. Fog. The hike was good. The hike was great. We were just imagining what the scenery was going to look like. The bugs were nice enough to greet us when we got home though. So that was good. 5.30, early morning again. Getting some rain that comes and goes. Do our morning routine and then head out. So the first goat of the day that we have spotted is a billy. Just watched him pee. It's a thousand foot elevation above us. About to lose just on him, there he goes. We're gonna go through here and up that to get to him because the camera doesn't do it really any justice, but this is pretty steep and there's a lot of little cliffs and stuff in there. So, and we don't know what it's like getting up there. We know that we can go up this way, no problem. And we may even run into something over there. Hopefully that fog just kind of lifts and goes. Dude, I've had like 9 million songs in my head this morning. <laughs> like every day? Yes. I'm just back here having a spiritual journey. Why? You just feel accomplished. Yeah? Yeah. I almost cried earlier. <laughs> like good or bad? Good. Yeah. I almost cried for different reasons. <laughs> I sure hope this just passes by. Just a warm up, Jay. On to the next adventure. Well, we're down off that hill. It 
felt good to at least get one stock in. If that was our only visibility opportunity today, it is what it is. That's hunting. It sucks being in country like this and not being able to see it half the time. Well, most of the time, actually. Are you kidding me? Autofocus is focusing on the rain. Override. Yeah, getting any vibes from this one. It's a nanny for sure. Oh, let's see the hook on the horns. V shape. Yeah, that's an any. I don't even have to look. I can look at it through the phone and see it now. getting bad and uh, we're getting cold just standing here and getting rained on for the last couple hours. We're gonna make a loop even though we can't see anything and then we'll check back with this goat over here and see if it decides to come this way. just been dumping tons of fog We've got that goat bedded on the edge of a cliff you can't hunt goats effectively in this weather we don't have a good a good weather day to look forward to so it's not like we can just hold out it's supposed to get worse and worse throughout the week so I think this is about gonna do it for us up put a ring gear on and well it's been an experience that's for sure some good some bad we've got one hell of a trek to get out of here we're gonna try to do it in one day in the rain taking a different path back down which for me in the past is never generally a good idea but I think the reason we didn't take this path on the way up is because it would have required us walking a creek that we know we would have got our boots wet and getting our boots wet before we get up here would have been a no-go but since we're heading back down to base camp we can probably uh hike through some water and be okay wish we would have had better weather um, maybe a few breaks in the weather maybe one day of decent weather besides the day it took us to get up here on the second leg we just couldn't get it done in this fog. Every hunts an adventure, whether you come out with an animal or not, it's definitely a uh, proven ground for Jay. 
Jay's first mountain hunt and the guy did excellent. How do you feel, Jay? Feel great. Wet. Yeah. Very accomplished. I know that we still have a lot to do, but yep. it's hard not to be disappointed that we didn't get a goat out of here, but also just proud of everything that we went through and didn't give up, you know? We yep. could have very easily gave up on day one, and we didn't, so I'm proud of that. At least we can rappel down the mountain with all these vines. That's kind of nice. All these little willows and stuff. Pack raft, waders, and a parasail. Maybe a tad more manageable than coming up. Yeah. So far. So far. I think we're about to hit the worst of it right down here. A lower section though, so we're good. I kicked it. Kicked it? Yeah. Oh well. Legs are officially numb. Just gotta keep moving. Can't stop now. You see the entrance to the lake. As long as the bear fence worked and the bears stayed away from our livelihood here, because if this is wrecked up here, this is gonna turn into a survival situation real quick. And the tent is intact. Whew! Talk about a relief there. See how many bear tracks there are surrounding it. <laughs> if any. No! <laughs> it's a 
just want to go ahead and apologize. I don't know what you ever did to deserve that. <laughs> the work's not over, buddy. We got to get shelter made. Yeah, I know. We got to get everything out, get yeah, dry. We got to drink some away. soup. But the tent's there's intact, and uh, we got to get warm. Hey, the creek, the water level went down about two inches since we first got here. There's my water marker rock. Any, any, any <laughs> final words for that I'm, adventure? I am just, in the what a spiritual journey. <laughs> I'm just thanking the Lord that we are at least here. And I know that like, <sighs> we still have like, to warm up. Yeah, we still, still have some work to do. Got the old gear drying tunnel in here. Not every hunt will go as planned. Actually, they pretty much never do. We may have got more than we bargained for on this one, but looking back, this trip was much more than just a hunt. We made lasting memories, took away several valuable lessons, and built a whole lot of trust. And of course, we were humbled once again and reminded that Mother Nature is always in charge and can be very unforgiving. We move forward not with our heads down, but more hungry than ever. We will be back, and we can't freaking wait. <laughs>